what's up everybody welcome back to another dragon ball video as you can see we have some news drop recently from um i think at an anime expo convention or one of the marketing managers it's been going over everybody's youtube feed about uh og characters being confirmed i wanted to catch up with you guys and let you guys know that this even further proves that the roster cannot be 164. the roster is not going to be 164 because we have dlc and them saying like it could be the biggest roster ever could just be shadow referencing you know the roster size after all the dlc is included like how xenoverse is but at the same time you have these voice actors coming out saying that they have done the voice recordings for these characters then you got their marketing manager talking about um you know og all the red ribbon army being uh you can, you know, use the whole Red Ribbon Army against like a super team. You can imagine, we can happen. You know, you can cross over in different realms. You can have people from Dragon Ball fight people from Dragon Ball Super. You know, Jiren can fight Tao Pai Pai. You know, you can have anyone from the Red Ribbon Army fight against, you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say Jiren again, but Vegeta. You know, it's open season for anything all you want to eras do. of Dragon Ball. Just let, like, let alone confirming OG Dragon Ball kind of throws off the 164 base roster limit and i'll show you why in my previous video i uh, went over a character roster that i made you can mine the uh characters that are on the ends this is this is my character roster uh prediction with dlc included so if you see like orange piccolo cell max uh you know dragon ball superheroes obvious characters like that pay pay no mind to it so i have made this roster video and i went over characters that were already confirmed in the game you know that means they were shown in a trailer or whatnot um demo gameplay and then we have um characters that i know 99 percent is guaranteed going to be in the game matter of fact i should have pulled up this so you have this area where i have 100 percent confirmed from the trailer you guys can slow mo the video so you guys can see in um more detail but i zoomed it up for you guys to get a more perfect look these characters were all confirmed 100% are going to be in the game. That's already, uh, what, 106 characters out of the 164 that you guys are assuming that are going to be in the base roster. And these are the must-haves. So 99%, meaning that the game or the story wouldn't make sense if these characters wouldn't be in the game. Like, it's 100%. That's... I have to put 99 because they didn't show us or officially confirm it but yeah you have this list that you guys can go through as well making the roster go to 132 out of 164. they haven't said nothing about gt unless um you take what the voice actor of goku when he was mentioning doing voice recordings for super saiyan 4 so that has to be a giant leak keeping track of you know i didn't realize that subtly changing the voice for every single form was going to bite me in the ass later and so keeping track of all that for like super saiyan 4 super saiyan 3 god, super saiyan 4, super saiyan 3. god mode red here god mode, and it's all real subtle different things you know and so damon has just been on top of just keeping all my references everything in line <laughs> But I had the candidates for everybody in Dragon Ball Super on this list. You can see that it's not, it's not a lot. For one, they already showed us a lot of Dragon Ball Super characters already. The Tournament of Power didn't really have a lot of like people that they could make characters out of. I mean, they can make characters out of, but for the sake of this roster, with the other characters that I added, it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense. And you guys will see why. But you can see like Champa made it, Valdos made it, Basil, um, Topo. So all of these characters are in the roster, right? Now you guys understand why I place plus 13 from Super um equaling 145 so this boosts the 132 out of 164 um to 145 leaving 19 spots that could be potential roster space for characters originally from tinkaichi 3 and i have this list going down here in case you guys also want to go through it 
the characters highlighted in red are the ones that are most likely going to make it in because it would be weird if they didn't like kid goku grade 8 uh raditz grade 8 ginyu goto you know i i place all of these so you guys can look through it but this brings me to my point as i'm doing the cutting and as i'm seeing uh what'd you call it these characters being almost confirmed by uh people of the spartan zero development team it's like going off the 164 limit um, let me bring it back to the characters that were left that weren't included in the base roster that I had on here. These characters, surprisingly, there was 52 characters, right? From the original series, 52 characters that didn't make it in. And these 52 characters were perfectly, um, you're able to split these uh, characters into like three groups. And these three groups that I made are a DLC uh, GT pack. We're going to have an OG DLC pack. And then a movie OG, oh shit. And then a movie DLC pack. So these three categories, just stay with me. So our first DLC pack will be Daima and Superheroes, split into three waves, over 20 plus characters, right? We can assume that it can be 21 characters, 25, 27, it can even be 29, but um, I usually with 20 plus, they just try to like infer that it's a little bit more than 20, not that much that you can expect, but. They didn't confirm anything, just like how they didn't confirm uh, 164 characters yet. From the GT DLC pack, you can expect to um, get characters like Goku GT, Goku GT Super Saiyan, Goku GT Super Saiyan 3, Goku GT Super Saiyan 4, Goku... Vegeta GT Super Saiyan 4, uh, Oob, Majub, Pam, Baby Vegeta, Baby Vegeta Super Saiyan, Baby Vegeta Super Saiyan 1, Baby Vegeta Super Saiyan 2, and then Baby Vegeta Grade 8 form. Um, Super 17, Nova Shinron, Shin Shinron, and Omega Shinron. That brings that GT DLC pack to 17 characters that can be on the roster. Then we have the OG DLC pack, and in this one you can expect to gain characters like Kid Chi Chi, Tambourine, Grandpa Gohan, General Blue, Android 8, Cyborg Tao, Pilaf Machine, Pilaf Machine Fuse, uh, Aureli, and Nam. That brings the roster to an additional 10 characters from that DLC pack. Then we have the movie, which is probably like one of the best ones, but the movie pack would include characters like Fasha, Fasha Grade 8, King Vegeta, King Vegeta Grade 8, Garlic Jr., Garlic Jr. Super, or Super Garlic Jr., Dr. Willow, Turles, Turles Grade 8, Harutagon, Lord Slug, Giant Slug, Salsa, Cooler, Final Cooler, Metal Cooler, Zanya, Bojack, Bojack Full Power, Pycon, Tapion, Janimba, Janimba Battle Ready Mode or Transformation, um, Android 13, and Android 13 Fused. That, br that brings this roster to 25 additional characters. So GT Pack. 17 characters og pack 10 characters movie pack 25 characters now pay attention to those numbers because if we're getting 20 plus characters split into three waves you have to incorporate how much how many months that's going to take right so if they're being split into three waves they have to like they have to release this in like every month or something or drop free free DLC updates or something because you can expect the support for this game to be milked for like years if this is how it's going to be. But if these three waves take like like six months even, you can expect to gain these characters like two years later from the game releasing. And that's like that's a blow that the company needs to consider if they want to do. Do they want to charge fans and take a reputation blow for charging for old characters or do they want to market newer characters and make like more money and profit better by giving characters that you know already been in the game so you're giving care uh, players that that satisfaction and that that loyalty and you're also giving players that fresh new feeling because you're spending more investment on newer characters than trying to hide older characters beyond a paywall you know like i feel like the marketing team will sell more um 
more of their game if they had like a marketing team showing characters that never been shown before instead like for older fans i'm not gonna lie to you bro it's like it's cool to see these these like this uh how to say it? the graphics and the evolution of how the tinkaichi 3 series came you know seeing raging blast 2 and now what we're seeing it's cool to see that evolution um in technology but at the same time a lot of it just looks like uh like remasters like over skins like just like painted with like a, a more beautiful brush because we're still seeing the same similar skeleton so it's like when you bring out these characters and you market people that played the game before we're going to just be used to like like oh yeah like they made that move look better you know that's it but if you bring out and invest characters like oh shit like you guys are dropping um let's say look boom this dlc pack right uh, I can't talk about it because I'll edit this later, so hopefully my editing self is doing this perfectly. But say we got hit with this DLC roster, right? Would you guys rather spend more money on this and be more hyped on seeing this? And knowing that the other characters are already in the base roster? Or would you rather just take it how it is and just buy that, buy the, you know, the GT roster over a roster like this? And it's, it's sad because we will buy the GT roster over a roster like this just because of the emotional attachment. Because like a lot of people who played B, uh, BT3, like the core moments was playing as Super Saiyan 4, was playing as GT characters. Like So taking that out is like taking a piece of the heart of the fan base with it because you guys are going to uh, put it behind a paywall and it's like, I don't know. It doesn't, I don't know if the company would risk it you know that's where i'm standing but nothing's been confirmed with the character roster so far so i feel like that's why it's been kind of like anonymous till this point but if you have the gt dlc pack just like how they combine superheroes with daima i feel like they're going to combine gt if we're if we're looking at this that they're selling the the remaining characters as uh dlc packs i want you to follow me just so you can understand what the point i'm going to bring up later the GT DLC pack will most likely be sold with the OG DLC pack. And it will make sense because you have two spectrums. You have the weakest spectrum, the, strong, the strongest spectrum from the older games. All into one bundle. I feel like that would be a perfect balance. 17 plus 10 is 27. So that would still follow their 20 plus DLC pack rule in which they can split into three waves. So that would, I, I would feel would cover another year of Dragon Ball Sparking. And then for the next year, um, they can do another Dragon Ball uh, movie pack, right? The movie pack already has 25 characters that I went over. So that is a standalone, like that alone can uh, like qualify for three waves within their own pack. You know, they have enough characters to just split into three waves. So that would be, boom, another year of DLC content in which that these three waves, like every wave of DLC, you should expect... Um, around I want to say nine to ten characters maybe let's be safe seven to nine characters you should expect for every DLC um, wave and with this pace it looks like if they did lock behind like lock other characters behind the paywall we might not see characters that originated from Budokai 3 uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 until a year or two later on down the future maybe not maybe three years down the release date of this game and that's going to hurt that's going to hurt um because then that also throws out the possibility of that roster i showed you guys earlier with like gods of destruction or you know just other superheroes from the tournament power that we didn't get to see represented in a way like bro i i watched og dragon ball but i can guarantee you i did not give a fuck about devil man until i seen like him in the um the budokai games i was like oh like oh okay he was an og oh okay like he knows uh you know uh og goku but they 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 use that game as a platform in order to give those characters light and i feel like like just wasting money on advertising older characters would be such a stumble if they can like just already incorporate them somehow with free dlc maybe like how jujutsu kaisen is doing it um but if they are not doing it that if they're not doing it this way and they're going to hide it behind a DLC paywall 
this is the layout that I have and how they're going to um, kind of like sell the DLC packs and waves. And then at the same time, uh, it also like makes the 164 character roster, the base roster unstable. Because if you have the voice actor and marketing manager saying that you can play as characters from the Red Ribbon Army versus the, you know, Jiren, it kind of like confuses you because you have, you have to include characters like General Blue, you have to include characters like General Tao, um, Red Ribbon Army. I think Pilaf was Red, uh, Red Ribbon Army as well. That that makes the speculation not just Demi King Piccolo, Kid Goku. That brings into like like Grandpa Gohan. Is he in? Um, but at the same time, if you look at the roster, that means certain characters has to go. If they're confirming OG characters, that means like. There's not enough room. It's going to make it unstable. That, and then let alone, like I told you guys, the three DLC packs that they could split it in. But we're missing key other characters that are in the Tenkaichi series like Nell, Evil Boo, Supreme Kai, Kibito Kai, Apol, Frieza Soldier, and Devil Man, like I stated. But that, yeah, that, um, I, I'm just curious on your guys' opinions. Do you guys think that they're able to know how to make a roster that fits 164 characters that can satisfy the story you know with including the DLC or do you guys think that this 164 character amount is just some number that people are just stating because they counted the panels on the on the trailer you know that's legit where we got this number from just because they showed us their promotional panel of characters that they spotlighted in trailers this could be proven when they drop the Android 17 trailer. When Android 17 Z comes out and he gets his own slot, this can prove the theory that this is just showing characters that have been on trailers. Some people even brought up like the blue arrows. This isn't the roster in general because this is not how we're going to select characters in the game. This looks different from the demo character selection screen. So there are not like this has no correlation to the roster for me. It just, it has more correlation to the trailer promotional aspect than the actual game roster, if you get what I'm saying. Um, and then I just want to leave, leave you guys off with like a little, you know, some breadcrumbs. But if they do sell these packs behind a paywall, um, do you guys think that they can also incorporate other elements into it? Like not just characters, but we're getting costumes, we're getting maybe a customizable items that we can, you know, equip to other, other characters. But this can be like a, a GT tail or something. I don't know, great grade eight tail, uh, red aura, super saiyan four aura. But, um, I wanted to say for the GT pack, they can add like Vegeta GT as a base form character and uh or maybe just have vegeta gt as an outfit that you know he can transform in to go up to super saiyan 2. if they make vegeta gt like a whole rework character it would be awesome to have him have his base form his super saiyan 1 his super saiyan 2 and then when he goes into super saiyan 4 have some like some uh some form of cutscene where bulma comes out and then use that machine that transforms him that would be sick with the graphics that they have um i shinron they can have characters like him pop up they can have the shadow dragons pop up goten and trunks gt could be alternate skins for the uh goten and trunks super characters that i have here that most likely would, i feel like we're getting goten and trunks uh team with the superhero dlc pack for sure but we might get gt costumes for them if they drop the gt pack and then for the og pack all I can think of was like Krillin OG. Maybe they might drop a Krillin alternative costume for him when he was younger. And then for the movie pack, they can incorporate the rest of Bardock's crew that includes their grade A transform uh, trans transformations. They can incorporate the other member from Cooler's uh, crew. They can incorporate the members from Slug's crew. They can incorporate Turles, his henchman, and then they can also incorporate the um, other two androids, I believe, that was in the Raging Blast 2 game. And that also, you know, brings the stage for like crazy characters like Android 21 that I mentioned in other videos. But I would just be rambling into speculations at that point. But thank you guys for watching up to this point. Um, I just wanted your guys' um, I just wanted to let you guys uh, know that 164 base roster is looking more questionable the more these uh uh developers and people a part of the management team is coming out just giving more breadcrumbs about the roster no wonder like that's why they're so like cut on it 
I want you guys to also take note that there has not been any night stages. The only time it's been nighttime is when like characters transform into their sparking. But there has been no night stages. So they could be hiding this because that is like a feature later on with the great apes that they might showcase in the final build. We're just messing with the demo build. Um, yeah, so let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Do you guys think it's still 164 characters now knowing that OG Dragon Ball is confirmed that that brings in more room for character slots to be taken up? But it also pushes characters out and it makes the character roster questionable. You know, that's like, what do you have? To, what if you have to push out second form Frieza? Like, that would be weird. You can't you can't do that. So. Yeah, let me know if you guys think um, 164, is it is it really that amount? Like, is are they hiding something? But I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys be safe and peace.